。夏天的午后，不经意的问候，是与你最美的邂逅。记对与错，固守你的理由，想说的却又说不出口。紧咬的嘴角，那次告别后，记忆我独自走很久。脑海都是你的笑容。我知道你也感同身受，在雨中的无言，在天台的妥协，却希望时间会慢慢走。Another day passed by, Ryan shows. Everyone else in class was already left, eager to get out as soon as possible. I took my time to write down all the homework lists on the blackboard. It's only when everyone else is left that I pull away my exercise book. So, my boss is always acting serious. Class ends might be an alternative to for the class. Someone else do not wait. If you pull for a shout, it will look so obvious. So I decided not to. It's a fall. I can see a path leading straight toward the gates. A number of students are walking along the path, chatting and playing with each other. Some are in groups discussing what to do after school. I shouldn't linger here for too long. I turn around and go in the opposite direction. I, I plan to leave school by a much quieter route. Oh yeah, I realized this. Um, I don't know why I don't. Um, because I can literally edit the audio mid like, like doing more cool. So I don't know why I don't just do that. Just keep it up on the way. Makes it actually easier to edit. <clears throat> As I want to avoid trouble, I've been exploring the campus. I find some back doors I can use. I feel like we're going to meet who trying to leave. Uh, when? First, I got to become a really unsearchable person. <clears throat> oh? I know there's something moving inside the flower bed. Oh, it moved again. I look around and made sure nobody's watching me, as I didn't want anyone to see me act suspiciously. I saw you leap over the shrubs, hit towards the center of the flower bed. Oh, it's, so it's a little fella. It didn't take much effort to discover he was while I went in the flower bed. Oh, huh. A black cat dodged me before he rushes me out and extends his claws towards me. Wow, it's got a bad cat to. Uh, oh, a bad catitude. Looking at the cute lady, I can feel my muscles relax after being on edge for today. But quasi, the cat does not went away. Normally, strays like this would be cause torture me, so I'm definitely close enough to make it feel unsafe. Thus, I put up my guard and look carefully at the black cat. Now I know why he's showing his claws and grinding me instead of running away. I guess I can't move at all. <clears throat> That's a very thin string tied to one of his back legs. The lion's so thin, it would be easy to overlook. The end of the string. It's tied onto one of the shrubs. It's unforgivable. Looks like someone used a kite string and violently pierced the string into a leg. Look closely, the parts where the string is tangled on his leg had a bit of blood seeping out as well. Oh! Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> the black cat continues to struggle, trying to run away from me, but as soon as it moves, the pain causes it to growl even louder. Okay, okay, calm down here, Neil. Extend my hand to try to power head. <laughs> Ouch! Like a huge fearfully extensive car, so I was able to evade and a few scans of pill I'm really shrink my hands back. I think I need to be more careful not to touch it like that. I think for a moment it's still not the case for Should I cut the string first? Oh, I know. I take out the Eugene knife from my school bag. Well, they're not scissors. It could do. Um, 
But if I cut the string now, it would definitely wouldn't wait. Then I won't be able to move the bar the string that's still inside its leg. But do I need to stay here until it can trust me? Uh, something falls into my head, but it doesn't hurt. What's this? After hitting me, it rolls to the ground. It's a mysterious brown object. I wish my <clears throat> head up. There's nothing but the blue sky. I can feel. I can feel something standing behind. He appeared. I made it to around, but before I could take a good look at his behind me, I was just keep him my face. I made it to my guard up and take a step back. Dang. I chipped my shoved up in a flower bag, trying to give him violence, fill my arms, even she put a step forward to us. That was embarrassing. <gasps> I hear a familiar voice above my head. As I look up, I can see a girl look at me with a shock expression on her face. Her hand is holding up some cat food. Um, is that you? Can you ask why you're driving cat food to me? She appears to suddenly remember what she just did. Her face immediately flushed away. <laughs> Snowball. I turn away, turn around to look at the black cat, then back to friends that you. Now I trace your gaze, which I find. Thanks for you cheating that from my hands. Oh, this is a huge mess, isn't it? He explained. I chuck away my knife and just towards the cat's back leg. <clears throat> I spend the next couple of minutes explaining to her what happened. She seems to understand. But now she looks even angry. Sometimes people only show the true face when like, something weak. This will just come out of my mouth without much thought. I mean, we're... I'm sorry, I did you. Play six your head, Bill. I got carried away. Fortunately, I yet to find something else to distract her. And you've met this cat before? She can relate. Actually, I want to ask, why is Snowball? Because he's a That... A white cat, you name? Because it's a black cat, that's why he calls Snowball? I don't understand the logic at all. You have to open it up? I always told you what I'm planning to do. The string is always stuck in the leg. The only way to use a knife is to use a knife to plug it. Yeah, so the biggest problem here is making sure it doesn't go crazy at me. I wish my arms to let her see the scratch on my hand. Yeah. I knew she would say that. I'll hand it over to you. After that, when Zayu still had to shrub, separate her from the flower bed for a long time, but just walk forward. She stays until at the flower bed for her. She looks more determined than she's planning to accept her skirt. Hey! I can my arms to wave away the branches. If your skirt is getting in the way, I can pull you. She shrubs her front and forth about the level of my knees. For it's around the height of her upper eyes. Uh, okay, that's pretty high up there. She must be pretty short. It's quite a chance for a girl of her height to leap across, especially when she's wearing a skirt. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice. <laughs> she had hesitantly to my hands. Come on, we need to get this done before sunset. <laughs> Just so she doesn't get any wrong ideas, once she grabs my hands, I meal. She must lie than I expected. It didn't take much effort to them. She leaps over, she nearly falls over and ends up and pushing against my chest. But that was best best, and I better not say anything else. Oh You're very light, you should eat more. What are you planning to do now? Like what you normally mm. She walks over to the injured cat. Mm. That cat who was so fearful of me suddenly swaps personalities into person and raises his ears and I hear So bye. Mm. 
too dope. They keep calling out to each other. Still bunch mine and two eyes still the Oh poor lady. And when Zayu suddenly needs over He's on the grass, she can't be exceptional bar see on the knees. I was surprised by his sudden actions. Not to mention how dirty this place is, to so have her skin you know, fast or perish of stones even like they would have stayed for a second. <laughs> Thanks. I don't look I knew that was real. Check out my duty and I forget it. I skillfully cut off the string so it's not attached to the shrubs anymore. This is a simple step. Snowball doesn't seem to mind. Five parts came with the string that's attached to his feet. As I approach him and now the cabin gets to drive me with it. me out again. It should up if it. When Zayu reacts quickly, bumps the cat's back. She keeps speaking to it and suffers just a voice after she's speaking to her child. How long after Snowball seems to have forgotten his pain and squeeze his eye. Bad. It seems she's a bit embarrassed by her actions just then. Her she's turning red. In the Grey Hill. I want to get to look at the cat. Better to get this done swiftly. This is cheating that might not be the best way. It doesn't feel like it's the right tool. If I'm not careful, I might cause even more pain. And Zayu seems to have noticed my expression and guess my concern. She takes out a new bag. It looks really clean, Tony. She's always carried that wherever they go. Is that so? It's a totally different just compared to men. Thank you. Use the new clip probably be better. After taking the clip, I once again try to grab Snowball's back leg. It only meows quietly and doesn't do anything. It's the first time it hasn't gone wide after I touched it. it gives me the comfort to carry on with the surgery. I brush away the pitch black fur and twist the string. I realize the tight string is pierced deep into its thigh. I have no idea where to begin. Maybe there's another way to begin. I have an idea. After twisting the path of the string, I finally find it dead. This is now over here, it should be easy to push the clippers in. Shouldn't be a problem. I take a deep breath to focus and light pluck the string with Once I confirm there's no danger of cutting away cutting away any of the skin, should be cut away the string cuts and so much anger to poke out. It's not over yet, done yet. I focus on the cut on her legs and slowly push the string out. Must be really so bob. Cowley shivers a bit while pulling the string out. He seems to be the calm and doesn't get much of a reaction. Finally, I take out a pack of cotton swabs. No way, it lays through. So I use something to disinfect the cut. Then wrap it away with such a good copy for finally letting the cat go. <sighs> it should be fine. I take a long sign of relief and no stick straight using out for my forehead. Uh. I was just playing by the car shop Jessica Club to find her gaze at them closely. Um probably only I moment to her only vague response as I don't want to explain it for her. It's an axe portal. Close your head, light passed over. After completing my taxes, I have no idea what to do. Oh? Since the silence between us was getting awkward, she suddenly apologized. It's the first I guess of you. Nah, that's fine. It was really misunderstood. My head's all right. It won't crack because it's some cat food. <laughs> oh, I was just saying what I saw, nothing else. It always seems to be more proactive than she was in the classroom. She tends to hide in the way of herself. Ah, she looked like a stone statue in the classroom, as if she was trying to make herself invisible. I just had to worry about her mental. Every day, you just line up all your homework. Surely this is the first time something like this has happened. 
Oh, brush my tail. So, my compared to that, do you have any idea? Something like that's your poor cat. Why is it that this is the same thing? This day means that Jayu seems to have suddenly realized something. She gives me a snow look. Seen her like that camper sign. I have any clue? I had to move somewhere else. I say, I see for me. So I see someone show my words. It keeps pouring out of while she pushes forward. Looks like the cat wasn't too serious. A black cat swiftly leaps into a bunch of bits outside. Has that cat always been like that? Mm. And Zhao Yu. I'm just gonna say when. Because I'm gonna try to say her last name. Like, uh, you don't have to constantly say her last name. Patrick Scott dies and Eric gets sent up. She's not too worried about the cat, cat's injuries anymore. It's because she trusts, she trusts it to look after it herself or simply a tradition. Let's go over there. So we like. Which I thought that I would need to help her. She can't say she just really by far so I barely had to wait. Half extended arm. He sends over. So any else you need to do? So. She's silly for a while before finally grasping her meat. It's not because she's scared of it. It's a it's a wall. I keep repeating my I can feel a sense of bitterness in them. Bye. <laughs> After returning home, I throw my school back to a corner and touch my silver to bed. It's turning out just like before. I want to scream out loud so I can get a moment somehow. This is my choice. I just want to be a good student. I won't open and hide myself under the pillow. I can feel my chest aching from the pressure I've been suffering. I'm not sure I like to get away from all this. The thing that comes to mind is escape. Escape as far as I can. It's like an instinct, like a, it's a dangerous head. But can't really do that. If I do, to me, my senses are spy so much. So it's my brain. Officer Sheen, that's not good. <clears throat> I figure it's my dad called to check up on me. However, after looking at the screen, I immediately. God, it's today. It's the day that comes to remind me of all these of the past. I have no right to refuse this call. Hey. Hey, gentle female. Hey, Rocky, you didn't call me today. Don't tell me you forgot what's supposed to be out in the heart today. I tell you not to call me. Ah, uh, I thought that would make us closer. Doesn't matter, say what you like. <laughs> so, according to procedure, I have to make the statement. I said the officer and close the door, speaks in a form of The final phone call will be recorded. Please pay to say they live in the by the hearts. I stand outside the classroom for 2 5 and I see Ben walking out with forehead lowered. He said no. Mm. Even if you wait until the fence to clean it up, go shake your head. I understand. My name was supposed to clean up the gas when we discovered that all the cleaning equipment was damaged. I had to try pain is, is that no one in the school would let me. Check this your blood. Someone must have won. Some did look uneasy when they rejected our request, but everyone easy we would left us to the wayside. Standing from my point of view, whether or not they feel guilty doesn't make a they have different to us. Should we? Doesn't huh? matter, it's not. Sure, I tried asking my Millie Schwartz to sit back before I could say it out loud. But the students who were hesitant to see, see me, maybe they'd be threatened enough to say yes. I don't want to use my reputation to make things more convenient for myself. I just make me even more uncomfortable. I shake away her thoughts from my head. Maybe it's because I just can't stand the kind of behavior. Maybe we could try to find clean equipment elsewhere. If there's really no other way, we'll try action double classroom. Classman. <clears throat> Besides the classroom, is we also will need clean equipment. <laughs> 
Right, but I can't guarantee that they'll still be here. Besides, we don't even know where they'll store their clean equipment. Then what should we do? We should ask someone who might know. Oh? I look at the girl curious I need to confirm what she just said. Now where the janitors don't mean place their clean equipment. Is that so? I guess she just discovered it while roaming around the school campus. But it shouldn't come as a surprise. She was able to find a place that I normally close off, like the entrance to the rooftop. But I have no idea. When she started exploring school, she must have been too a lot to become like this. Let's go then. I follow Wen as we pace quickly down the stairs to the first floor. It's a narrow staircase leading to a room in the basement. Let's see, it looks like it's locked. I try to turn the knob, but it won't budge. Looks like Aunt Jane or Make sure she locks the door. It doesn't seem like there's any way for us to open it. Are you sure this is the right place? <laughs> the thing we're looking for is right under our nose, but we can't get to it. I should expect this. Let's go. We can ask the upper classroom to land it to us. As I turn around, plan to leave, where's this portion place? What's wrong? She's giving off a strange vibe, sinking deep into her own thoughts. Her eyes are glistening in a way they never had before. Hey god. If that door is directly behind her, but they just climb up to the vent. If that's the door I'm thinking of. I follow the gates look towards the area above the door from this air duct above the door, yep. I had a feeling, because this is why I didn't notice it before, I didn't really pay attention, but when I noticed it, it's just white deal and it's open. Oh, you mean that? It was a bit wider than we might have. Oh, than we might have a way, but since it's so small, fuck first, but since I already realized what she's thinking, and I wish my eyebrows. I mean, I'm only saying, if that's if that's not what, what you were thinking, then just forget about it. But tell me you want to go up there by yourself, do you? Yes, the hole might be too near for me to pass through. But not for when she's smart enough that it won't even be hard for her at all. Oh, yes, Chris, give me good, the good one. Go on, that you will. Huh? <clears throat> don't look at her skirt, but don't look at her pennies. <laughs> I cover my face and look at her through the glass between my fingers. So her eyes are glittering like Simpsons. Ah, uh, the most straightforward way is to ask the upper classmates to lend their equipment for, to us. But seeing that hopeful gleam in the eyes, there's no way I could refuse your request. Could it be she's not the quiet and timid girl I'm matching to be? Safety first. This is the first time I see her being with spirit. I'm not sure if this is a good thing or not. I turn my head around to make sure nobody can see us. After all, what we're doing is definitely against the course. Watch all the students that are in the spin have long since left the school. The only students left are preparing for the public exams. But all in the night building. This is the best time for us. We should be able to lock this door from the inside. After getting in, just make sure you find a safe landing spot. Don't go too hard on yourself. And if you have any trouble, if you have any trouble, you must let me know, okay? So when you go up, just stand on my shoulders. When I left. Go up, remember to hold on to the door so you don't lose your balance. <gasps> she looks at me in panic. <laughs> Boys! <laughs> Why are you worrying about things like this? My clothes might get dirty, but if you don't wear your shoes, you can hurt your feet when you lean on the other side. <laughs> she looks at me with a full face and looks at to the van. Finally, she leans forward and whispers something to my ears. Now it's my turn, bless. I guess that will work. At this high, it's reachable. Why she whisper? But I scratched my head, my face burning hot like a blaze of fire. Wouldn't that postal trouble you? Or is she easily gonna grab her by the hips and lift her up or something? I thought we choose a super word to make my point, but when just for me, shakes her head and gives me a determined look. <laughs> I wouldn't believe her if she wasn't blessed so hard. I would have, but if she thinks it's fine, then I should respect her choice. My original plan of having to step on my shoulders was a bit dangerous anyway. 
I sure she might be bright, but they're not flat. I'm worried she might lose her balance and fall over when I try to lift her up. Then, alright. I have to admit, your plan is the safer option. I'll show I don't want to drag this out any longer. I crouch down with my back against the wall. Oh, is she gonna. Is he going to, uh, pick up. Pick her up? I guess pick it back wider, level. Come. <gasps> Gwen looks a bit nervous as she walks over. As she, as she does, all I can see is in front of, in front of me, all her slender dies. Okay, wrapped in black silk socks that totally accompany my fear division. I can't say why she looks anxious, even though she was told me just a while ago. After all, what we'll do next would be considered sexual harassment if I didn't ask for a consent before. I was thinking about crushing my throat. Oh, oh. Oops, just staring at her, had me totally in trance. The slender and word defined dies, all laying no things away, pushing certain the sick definition which I couldn't look away from. I mean, the quality I see. I can't go on like this, I must calm down, I must. Are you ready? Mm. I'm going for it. I take a deep breath to calm down my pan heart, which feels like it's going to burst out of my chest. I should act like a gentleman, I can't remind myself, I do my best to maintain a poker face. Probably I. Watch the head towards the pair of dice in front of me. <laughs> when re reflexively takes a step back. <laughs> oh, I scratched my face. I tell you anything. <laughs> she comes forward again. In order to not let her cool step away, I see move ahead of the her. <laughs> At first, her body savage, but gradually suffers as she relaxes her muscles on my embrace. By the time I grip my knees and confirm that I've got my arms locked, well locked in, I want to give her mind myself to stay calm. I ignore her first scent and the touch of her stock gets rubbing against the, my palms and my nose. I can only be thankful that we weren't able to see each other's face in this position. I'm going to lift you now, up now. After getting confirmation from above, I tighten my. I grip on her legs and take a few deep breaths. Finally, I strengthen my legs and lift her up in one continuous movement. <gasps> Alright, can you reach it? <laughs> Wait! Then what have we do? As a question of event, I take a, a minute of this moment to relax, push by and relax my arms. Then I interview my hands towards the source of her shoes to support her. So this time, I keep warning myself to never wish my head! Do a show would just be taking advantage of all. <laughs> and she went to heaven. The weight of my parts is scratched the line. I can hear her pinching above my head. After a while, I wish my head up to find her all the way halfway to the hole. She's acting quicker than I ever imagined. Be careful, don't get hurt. <laughs> when it turns around, it gives me a firm nod. Her face is flushed with redness. I suspect it's not only because of embarrassment, but also from excitement as well. She looks around to find a spot where she could land on me. If you know that it's safe, you can come back over to the side. I can feel my heart beating in my chest. It's more nervous than climbing in myself. I can't help but sweat. She sees I find a spot to jump down. She relaxes her hands and disappears to the hole. I can hear her cry from the side of the door. I feel a chill went down my spine. Hey, are you alright? <clears throat> Reaction. I got a feeling it's just gonna be something small and not bad at all. And then she just like got scared about something, it was too dark or something like that. I couldn't build the size for any longer. Second longer, I walk over to the door with anxiety reading on my face. Just when I was about to pound the door, I suddenly hear a click sound at the door and I'm so stunned. Are you hurt? She hides behind the door and kneeling over to one boy because she hides her face on her bangs. <laughs> After that, we borrowed the clean equipment from the storage room and friends cleaned up the classroom without any more incidents. The only thing is, all the clean equipment in our classroom has to be damaged. I couldn't help but pour on the trouble face after the lesson. But I guess we need to take the teacher. <laughs> See what that is. It's up to him to believe it or not. Oh, 
I don't know, but we don't say anything. Who else is doing the clean tomorrow? Why has to blame it all on, uh, on us? Mm. Seems so hesitant. Her anxiety is lingering all over the place. Oh, her face. My bad. Don't worry, I'll go and take teacher. You don't have to come with me. I'm not afraid. I dropped her out. She was prepared to say. I know she's afraid. She's concerned that she'll suffer even worse treatment if we tell the class teacher what had happened. To be honest, I'm worried myself. I fear the things will get even more complicated. And we'll just end up just like the way it was before. But for now, I can't do what I think is right. If something's a damage, we'll put the teacher. There's no either to otherwise. No second guessing. Only we'll pull it. It. As it is, that's all we should do. I don't think anyone would give me any trouble giving the rumors about me. This is also for yourself, myself. I shrug. Where were you, boo? I've turn of it. No worry, tomorrow any Jenny will just think she forgot to lock the door. I carry all the clean equipment back to the first floor and return to the rifle place. That closed the door, everything looks like the same as before. Hopefully tomorrow's dinner will go all Sherlock Holmes on the lock. But come to think of it, she's got some nerves. Jump down for such such a height, even I don't think I'll be able to do that if I get hurt. Okay, there we go. I just made me many dots, or I just couldn't get it to go to the next Xbox. And as I press along the usual path that leads out to Scottish Power for me to shine for far. Why is she still at school? She may not want to shout you. I suddenly realize there's something wrong with the way she walks. 